Hi guys, today I'm showing you the ZW ASI 178MC camera. This is a planetary camera that you can buy from ZW. It's around 300, something like that, as far as money. It's uh, made specifically for planet, uh, planet shots. It's a wonderful camera. It has about a sensor, which uh, I believe is the diagonal is about 9 millimeters, something like that. So the field of view is not big, but it's not bad as well. There are uh, lots of uh, small cam smaller cameras than this. And it's, uh, it's wonderful, it has served me very well. I have lots of videos on my channel with it. You can see here, it has a IR cut filter built in. In the, in the lens here, this nose piece comes with it. It comes uh, with the cable as well, the USB 3 cable. And uh, the good thing about this, which is uh, why I bought this above all, all other cameras, is uh, that you have this uh, all sky lens. Now this is good for capturing the whole sky with. I, I used it for the Milky Way, I have a short video about it on my channel as well. It works really well. You just insert it like this, remove the, the T-piece, insert it like this. Thread it in. Obviously you have to, you have to plug in the, the camera like that. Plug in the computer, use a software named SharpCap, the best one I've ever used. I recommend you to use it. And you uh, basically, you focus like this with the old sky. Normally you can't focus with this. So you have to use uh, the, t the telescope focus to, to adjust your focus with this without the old sky lens. And it's very good. I, I put it like this and take the whole view of the, of the sky and milk away or whatever you're shooting. And I, I, uh, it's one, this camera is wonderful for planets. It gets really good detail of Saturn or Jupiter. I got uh, amazing shots with it lately. And I, I, if you want a beginner camera that doesn't cost so much, I recommend you this one. It's good for deep sky as well. Deep sky, f especially for uh, big, big bright targets, nebulas, not just Orion, Orion, Dumbbell Nebula, Ring Nebula, Galaxies, I got many, many things with this one. It does have a bit of noise though, so don't expect so much from it. But the noise can easily be removed with editing softwares. So don't don't uh, that, let that put you, put you away. It's a budget camera, it's not, it's not an expensive camera, so to be honest, it's, it's expected. But uh, it's, it's a great one. When the, if you want to take dark dark frames, you just cover it like that and uh, take take your dark frames before you start uh, shooting whatever deep sky objects you want. I had great luck with this. I used it on Sean SharpCap. SharpCap is the only software I use for my deep sky shots and planetary, so I recommend you to use that as well. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.